Well, hello, and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. I received a reply to a comment I made to Stephen Van Kemp and Lewis about putting plants other than Catacetinae into the PET method setup. And he said he was curious as to see how things were going. So I've been experimenting with this setup, and I have several different kinds of orchids in the setup, but right here we have in front our two den pals. Um, this one I got a few months ago, and I originally potted it up in standard orchid setup, and it wasn't doing very well. And then I transferred it over to the PET method, and it seems to be responding quite well. Since putting it in this method, it's grown this new cane and has a sheath. And it has also grown this new cane. And you can see that I have it with rocks at the bottom and then pretty well just orchid bark. And this one seems to be thriving in it. And this one is Dendrobium variota. And I can say I haven't had this one very long. And I have transferred it when I got it home to the PET method. And it seems to be limping along, acclimatizing. We have a little baby spider. But we are getting, we had some initial root die off. And as you can see here next to my thumb, we've got a nice root growing there. So these are the dendrobium denfowls that I've put into the PET method. And another one of my orchids that I have planted in sort of a modified PET method. And I'm saying modified because this isn't a throwaway container. It's a clear plant pot with a solid bottom that I put drainage holes in. As you can see, I've got rocks and my standard Fragmopedium mix in there. You can see that this one has grown lots of roots. Now this was my big splurge for my 50th birthday and this is Fragmopedium Geralda and she seems to be exceedingly happy in this system. Now I can say that I got her in November and she had a flower spike and then proceeded to produce uh, six or seven flowers from that spike. That spike last flower dropped off at the end of January and now we're just waiting for a new fan to start growing. But all over this pot we've got new little roots and growing root tips and Phragmopedium geralda seems to really love this system, at least in my climate. And these are the Oncindium types that I've put into PET method. Um, they've all had to have a bit of adjustment. Um, there's not as much air movement. Uh, Sherry Baby was the first to go in. You can see little roots coming down here. This one is planted with uh, sphag moss in it. And since I put her in the pot, she is now growing that new growth there. Um, that Oncidium sweet scent has been growing some good roots down there quite vigorously. Uh, it hasn't set off a new growth yet, but that one right there was already growing and should be sprouting out new roots. but. You can see some crinkling there to the leaf that I wasn't being able to keep it <clears throat> wet enough in winter and while well, summer would have been ridiculous. Uh, and I think this method has really helped me quite a bit. Uh, this one here Antidium Guanxin Sweet Heart Guanxin. Um, it's watering day, so. The reservoirs are empty. Uh, 
You can see I've been having some problems with hydration. And so this one is still <clears throat> still acclimatizing. We got some. I don't know if those are dead or not. Well, they look like they've got growing tips. And this is my species. I believe it's a species. Yeah, it's the candy and dancer. And it's loving it. With those roots, it's put out one, two, three new growths since going in this setup. It just loves it. And this is the Veracidium. Got really nice roots growing down there. Started this new growth. I bought it with this one maturing. And this one is, again, getting the root growth going down. The newer growth that's been growing since was potted here, aren't are crinkled quite there. And this one, uh, it's got a little new root here, but really didn't like the repot. Um, I went ahead and repotted that one because it had um, what I think were woodlouse in the wood. And so I changed, that's why I changed all these through there. I got a bad supply of bark with a head woodlouse in it from the nursery. Um, so those are all them. And it seems like everything that I've put so far into the PET method or a modified version of it uh, for aesthetics um, has loved it.